So now that I got all the hardware on the inside of the roll up door, all of the railings, I'm going to start working on the subfloor. But there's a couple of steps to that process, um, or at least a couple of steps that I'm going to take for that process. Um, I need to first clean the whole floor and degrease it. I'm also going to clean the parts on the underside um, as well that are going to be a part of this process. Um, because I'm going to paint the whole thing down with a rubber sealant, it's going to block moisture, it's going to block air, it's even going to help deaden sound a little bit. Um, so there's a part underneath the chassis of the truck that's exposed. I'm going to clean that, paint that with the rubber sealant, and then all of this floor, I'm going to clean it, degrease it, and then once that's dried, I'm going to go over and paint it with the rubber sealant. Once I do that, it's going to need to sit for 24 to 48 hours. I'm really hoping more like 24 hours because I want to jump on top of building the actual subfloor tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'll get it painted. Once it's dried, I'll be able to go into the other start steps of the process. to degrease the floor. So I'm going to go over it, spray the whole thing down with this uh, Zip Fast 505 Industrial Cleaner and Degreaser. Pretty easy to use. going to spray the whole floor down, let it sit for about two to five minutes, and then I'll go back and scrub the thing with a brush, a little bit of water, try to rinse off as much as I possibly can. Um, and I'll let it dry, assess it, see if it's clean enough. If not, maybe I'll give it a second go. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go over, spray the entire floor first, come back, scrub that floor down. There's really not much to it. <laughs> All right, let's go. with like double, triple the amount of work. No regrets though. Back to spraying. All right, that was super intense. I'm gonna let it sit a couple more minutes and I'll come back with a bucket of water, the scrub brush, scrub the whole thing down. I'm really hoping I don't need another coat because I don't want to spray this bottle anymore. All right, so I have my bucket of water here and my brush. I'm gonna go ahead and scrub it down.
now that the floors are clean, I have to let them dry completely. That'll probably take a few hours. Um, so I'll let it sit and I'll be back. So the next part of the process is to seal the floors. I decided before I put the subfloor on, I want to seal these existing floors, make sure that they're uh, air resistant, that they're water resistant, corrosion resistant, rot resistant, all of these other very important resistance. This is the material that I'm using. So it's Flex Seal. Um, as seen on TV, it's a liquid rubber. Uh, so I'm going to roll it on uh, and just cover the entire interior of the floor. This one can says that it can cover uh, 37.5 square feet. Uh, the truck is about uh, 120 or so square feet, just this area of the box. Uh, so I grabbed three cans. We'll see how far we can get with that. We shouldn't be able to cover the whole floor, um, but I don't think the layer has to be super ridiculously thick. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm going to get to it start painting. super super thick so it takes a lot of effort to roll the material on the can as I mentioned earlier said it can cover about 37 square feet but I was able to get through the whole surface of the floor which is about 120 square feet um, off of not even using two whole cans uh, so keep that in mind when you're doing your calculations um, so I still have a can and a little bit of a can left but it's fine because I still need to seal the uh, exposed areas underneath the chassis um, so I'm not really worried about that but yeah this is down it's gonna take a day or two to completely dry and cure so um, it's really all I can do today I have to 
take a pause uh, and when this is finished drying I'll be able to go in and build up my, my subfloor on top of this. Again the reason why I decided to do this was because it's going to seal the floor, protect it uh, from moisture, it's going to make it airtight, it even adds a little bit of uh, sound deadening qualities which is good as well because living in a vehicle I'm going to want to kill as much of the external sound from coming in as I possibly can. So yeah, got this layer down, let it dry for two days and we'll be back to lay down the official subfloor.